This is Katherine Schmer, and this video is an introduction to partial derivatives. When we hold all but one independent variable of a function constant, and then take the derivative with respect to that one variable, we get a partial derivative. This has its own notation. We'll let f be a function of x and y. Then the partial derivative of f with respect to x is written with a curly d referred to as del, so del f over del x. It can also be written as f sub x or f sub x of parentheses x comma y or f sub 1 of parentheses x comma y. So depending on the text or site that you're looking at, it could be any of these notations, meaning the partial derivative of f with respect to x. And oftentimes we'll just say it as partial f, partial x. In this, we treat y like a constant when we're actually taking the derivative. So we're basically saying that if we moved in the x direction from any point, that the partial derivative of f with respect to x would give us the slope of the tangent line in the x direction. The partial derivative of f with respect to y is partial f over partial y. And the, when I say that, I'm talking about the scripty curly d. It can also be written as f sub y, or f sub y of parentheses x comma y, or f sub 2 of parentheses x comma y. And when we're taking this derivative, we treat x like a constant, and um, that finds the basically the change in f over change in y if we're moving the, in the y direction. Now partial derivatives in terms of the graph. I talked about this briefly on the last slide, but if we had some curvy surface and then at, at a point, let's say the point is x, y, f of x, y, and um, since we're going to use a different point a little later, I'll call it x sub 1, y sub 1, and f of x sub 1, y sub 1. So it has an x, y, and z value. And we have the tangent line in the y direction. Then the slope of the tangent in the y direction is partial f over partial y of x1, y1. So whatever our x and y values are at that point. And the slope of the tangent line in the x direction is partial f partial x of x sub 1, y sub 1. So that's what the partial derivative finds, is the slope of the tangent line in the x direction or y direction. Now if we take another point on the graph, x sub 2, y sub 2, and f of x sub 2, y sub 2. So again, we have an x, y, and z value. Then the slope of the tangent in the y direction is partial f, partial y of x sub 2, y sub 2 and the slope of the tangent in the x direction is partial f partial x of x sub 2 y sub 2. So at different points on our graph we would have different values of our partial derivatives although our way of calculating the partial derivatives will be the same um, based on our function. So for our example for the function f of xy equals x squared minus x times y cubed plus y to the fifth, we want to find partial f partial x and partial f partial y. So we'll do the partial derivative with respect to x first. So partial f over partial x equals um, del over del x of our function, so I'm going to put our, my parentheses and the, then I'm going to write my function x squared minus x times y cubed, and I wrote y cubed in blue because I'm going to treat the y cubed like a constant, plus y to the fifth, also in blue because I'm treating it like a constant, so it helps me distinguish. 
So the y cubed multiplied by the x is a constant multiple, and the y to the fifth as its own term is just a plain old constant. So when I take the derivative of that constant, y to the fifth, it will be zero. So this is equal to 2x, my derivative of x squared, minus 1, the derivative of minus x, times y cubed, because the constant multiple is going to get multiplied by the derivative of the minus x, plus 0. And this simplifies to 2x minus y cubed. So this is partial f par partial x, or another way of writing it is f sub x. Now we'll do the same thing with respect to y, and we'll treat x like a constant. So partial f partial y equals del over del y of parentheses, and I'm going to put my function in there. I'm going to write all the x factors and terms in blue, because I'm going to treat them like constants. So x squared minus x times y cubed plus y to the fifth. So now my y cubed and my y to the fifth are the variable parts, and the x squared minus x is my constant part, but the x squared is its own term, so it's just a plain old constant. The minus x is multiplied by the y cubed, so it's a constant multiple, and so it will just come along for the ride. So when I take that derivative, I get 0, the derivative of my constant, x squared is 0, minus x times 3y squared, so the constant x times the derivative of y cubed, plus 5y to the fourth. So now I simplify this, and I get negative 3xy squared plus 5y to the fourth. So here's partial f partial y, or f sub y. So that's how we do our um, partial derivatives. Treat the other variables as if they're constants, and take your derivative. And that finds the rate of change in the x direction or the y direction.